Hi Jamie, here's some pictures from one of the last days of February 2017. Left, we have you when you started uh, from down the line and over here I told you that everything is actually quite good. I would recommend you to feel a little bit of lift with your hands this way. So the club sits a little bit flatter on the ground. Uh, and then I would recommend you after that to be slightly more bent in your knees. If you look at the right uh, picture, uh, you actually did a little bit of that. It's not that it looks uh, awful much you did it, but uh, it's actually better. And you can also see that your uh, back is... It's okay there's a little slight bend up here, but it's actually also better. Okay, then your swing, uh, when you arrived, uh, looked a bit like this. Hands moving out, moving away from this line, and the club head moving around and in behind the hands. Instead, we did a drill. This uh, shaft down here was actually on the ground, pointed around well 15 degrees or so to the right uh, and you should feel that you brought your uh, club face in on top of the club face lying down there and while doing that I wanted you to show me the back side of your club see then your club moves better uh, along the plane line in this segment here. Then if we move to the left again, from there you lifted your arms up a bit too much. So you get into a little bit of a high position there. So on the right side I wanted to feel that you put your arms into a flat position. You can see the face now moving along the line and it's still just outside the hands at this position and you get to the more flat position with your upper arm there take a little pause that's the drill and then from there you just give it a whack it was slightly from the inside but okay and doing this drill there's a a change out there as well on the left here you had to drop the club, the arms, the hands. It was more inside. Also the trackman numbers were more inside. And then you can see going through here your arms went a little bit more away from your body in this area here. Whoops, let me see if I can find it there. You can also see the bin here and that's actually almost disappeared beneath your hands here so this area is a little tighter which I like to see it could be even more and you go into the follow through there if you look uh, at it from the other side I was actually uh, quite happy um, I showed you that it would be good if you could take a little bit of a break uh, on uh, the top position still and also here I would like you to have a slight more uh, forward lean of the of the shaft so the one on the right is the first one from today So it's much better than it used to be. You're still opening up a slight gap there uh, on the top of the backswing. It would be really good if you could uh, uh, if you could still go a little bit more to the right with the lower body before going forward. There's your impact over here on the right. We did the drill, and I'm okay that you're swaying a little bit with your uh, lower body uh, because it's the drill. 
and because of the history of your swing, so it's nice that you over exaggerate a little bit when you do the drill. So now you swing the club in over this line and show me the back of the, the club standing down there. And while doing that, you let your hips follow the club head. And from here, you put it into a flat position on top, so your hands are lower, and that means that now you are perfect here. And then it's a matter of letting go. Like that. So it's uh, getting better and better, and it can still be uh, slightly better yet. So uh, work hard uh, for the next uh, few weeks until I'll see you again.